<laughs> they can hear me. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Xbox Chatter Days. Jez is finalizing a few things on his end to get his audio in the stream as well. But um, hope hope y'all are doing fantastic on this Saturday. We got we're gonna be playing some Remnant from the Ashes and talking about some what pretty wild stuff, quite honestly. <laughs> but how are we all doing on this fine Saturday? We got Hazador in the chat. We got Sergio. We got Chipmunk. We got Z Simcoe. We got Binyabic. Who we got? We got a whole squad in the mix. How how is everyone doing? Yeah, this week. Yeah, you're right. Simcoe, pretty pretty boring week in terms of news. Nothing really going on. Um, ooh, coming in hot. Yeah, smash that like button. <laughs> what, what other cliches can I hit you with? Yo, share this out to your fam's squad. Oh, we're going to be continuing our adventures in Remnant from the Ashes, talking about the Bethesda bombshell. Oh god, there um, we go. Finally got my audio. Some, some pre-order stress that at least I experienced. Touch on Jez's experience as well. And then, um... I broke my collarbone last night, so... Also yeah, what the hell, man? How did you, how the fuck did you break your collarbone? <laughs> um, I'm what you call a pro skateboarder, as, as you might have seen on the internet. Uh, my boy Tony Hawk has tweeted out some of my uh, <laughs> escapades. Him and oh, I right. are pretty tight. So I was hitting, hitting a sick vert, trying to pull off the 1080, trying to one-up my boy Tony Hawk, since he's infamous for the, the 900. <laughs> you know... I, you know, I got got the full rotation in, but just hit the landing wrong. Ah, oh, got it. Just ate it on my shoulder. I hate it when that happens. But no, in all seriousness, I was bombing down a hill uh, next to my place. Um, tried to break with my tail. Tail shot out from me, and then I just, uh, I rolled hard. I rolled like six times, but I landed on my shoulder, and... Um, Oof. I immediately noticed a like a weird bump, like you know how if you touch your shoulder and slide it up your neck, it's it's pretty smooth, pretty straightforward. <laughs> but at the base of my shoulder, there was an elevated spot, and I was like, oh no, oh no, that's not that's, that's no not good. a normal growth. So yeah, I went to urgent care, got a fractured collarbone, and I get to go to a, a sports medicine doctor on Monday to see if they need to jam it back into place. Oh man, that sounds rough. And oh my god, we got a new channel member, Binyabic. Thanks for that, buddy. Binyabic? Chan Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for all the, the kind wishes uh, regarding the act and that. I'll, I'll be alright. I can still game. I'm wearing a sling right now, which is kind of awkward, but... Shoot. <laughs> as long as you can still game, that's the main thing, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, yeah I made the... the critical error of going outside and doing physical activities so yeah that's uh, that's dangerous man doing physical activities you don't want to be doing that oh so my god Jay god Cordon with the support tier thanks for joining buddy wow we have oh, the same dang. we have the same name almost <laughs> okay Jay Corden is this a doppelganger <laughs> it's a doppelganger man it's a doppelganger have you started a game uh let me send you an invite yeah I got one open here Let's get some dabs in the chat. <laughs> dabs. We need um. We need some. Ch we need some custom emotes for the stream. I don't. Uh, do we yeah, have any? We gotta. I don't think we have any custom emotes yet. We gotta get some though. Yeah, we, we gotta, gotta step up some. our game. Gotta step up that game, boy. Wait. Game what y'all think about those new graphics though? We got those popping off. Got a little yeah, intro. Hey, Zedox, how's it going, man? Uh. Right. Hey, it's all good, man. And any money that goes to Windows Central helps us keep our jobs. So I'm happy. Ex way. Oh wow! Well, look, we're, we're... the new notifications come up at the bottom of the main start menu. Now that's interesting. Oh yeah! All right. That's new. So oh my god! Have new subscriber. people in here. Hey, let's do it. 
appreciate y'all hanging out. Almost yeah, 100 so peeps. This episode is so, three? Episode not three. Not a bad start. <laughs> Pretty good start. Not bad. It's almost like uh, the Xbox community's suddenly growing exponentially for some reason. Yeah, it seems like there's, I don't know, maybe a lot of positive momentum with Xbox? A lot of I don't positive know. momentum, yeah. Let's say Call that. me crazy, but it seems like the pendulum is shifting. Shifting a little bit. The, the tides are turning. <laughs> <laughs> the tides are turning. I just hope my capture card doesn't die this time. Because it was, it was playing off something rotten last stream. Really made me salty. So hopefully that won't happen again. Um, Dang, Jez, are you paying off Binyabic? What's what's up here? <laughs> I don't know. Do I owe you money? Oh god, if you if I don't oh, know. Sorry. <laughs> um uh, Ooh, yeah, Kill, Simco Kill channel member? Damn, oh, we wow, got... got another channel member. Thank you so it's, much. We're off to a good start. You guys here. rule, man. We All got right. the subscriber train going down right now. Choo choo! Jez paying that well sub. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's playing Jez. Oh, what? Jez, how much money do you think you've spent on WoW subscriptions? If you had oh, to estimate, man. we had to put a number on that. What do you? What are we thinking? Dude, I actually worked out at some point a while ago, just exactly how much I spent on WoW, and it was it was easily in the thousands of dollars. Oh my god! And that's oh like my. that's not even including things like services, like server transfers and species changes and cosmetic DLC stuff and. Stuff like that. That's just just subscriptions and yeah. expansions. Yeah, I spend a lot of damn. Uh, yeah, I spend a lot of money on that game. A lot Oof. of money, but no regrets because no re bloody well love that game. And can you put a given... price on fun? That's the real question. Yeah, can you put a price on fun? No, I don't know. <laughs> Bottle of whiskey costs like twenty five quid, and a WoW subscription costs ten pound a month, and like all you do with whiskey is piss it away so oh my god and another then, channel member dang from Micah with the sub thank you so much let's get some dabs in the cool chat y'all <laughs> damn emote uh, man I really need to we'll add some emotes and we'll add some like we'll add some uh, rewards for people who become members I think there are some already um, but yeah I need, to, I need to remember what they are because I didn't I didn't know if we'd ever get any channel members <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll start fleshing all that stuff out a little bit more. This is yeah, this is just episode three, but we're trying to up our game. We we got a uh, Sean Labrie worked on some graphics for us that we're pretty pretty stoked about. So, um, Cyber Sean on Twitter, if you don't follow him, he's a rad dude. What else do we? What else? Yeah, we got a hundred people in here. Smash that like button. What's good? Um, let me go through the chat here. We got Hazador who shared this on twenty different places apparently. And then Jez, did I lose you? Are you talking? Uh oh. Let me see here. Me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, sorry this about that. Back. I uh, because I moved my mic, the cable came out. Oh, okay, cool. Epic fail. Oh my God, rookie gamer move. Oh, we got a rookie gamer move. Jew hack another channel member. Man, you guys rock. Dang. Okay, well, let's let's dive into whatever we are doing in our last adventure. Last time on Remnant from the Ashes. Yes, indeed. And uh, I was just moving the the notification there so it's less in the center of the screen. And uh, now we're going to go and kill some things and we're going to talk about all the big news of the week. Miles, did you see that coming? <laughs> Bethesda? Did, no, I want to ask you, did you <laughs> see that coming? Like I'm I, I'm not someone at who... liberty to say that. <laughs> oh, what? You had some juicy deeds that you... Did not disclose to you, boy. <laughs> That's well, it. I'm, I'm quitting pretty, right now. Uh, right here I was, now. I was pretty fast to get the article up. <laughs> yeah, on. honestly, I'm pretty in tune with a lot of stuff going on within Xbox and the community, but I legit had not heard a single rumbling about a, a Bethesda acquisition. So It's funny. I'd, I've been hearing things for a while because do you remember there was the whole the rumors about Bungie? 
and stuff like yes. that. Yes. Mm-hmm. The Bungie's well, one has been around for a while. Oh no, wrong button! Oh, damn, I wasted a... Actually, right near the thingy anyway, I guess. Um, I used the, I used the health... I used an Estus Flax Bomb Stick. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I keep doing that too, because it's like left bumper, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I was trying to... Man, it's annoying when, like, you go from playing one game to another game, and they have slightly different controls, and everything goes wrong. Almost the same, but not quite. Not quite. Ooh, oh, man, because I've been playing Mafia, and you change you change weapon in Mafia by pressing one of the shoulder buttons, which is really confusing when I'm mm. switching back to this now. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, dude, I legit did not see that coming. When did... You can't tell me when you found out? You don't have to tell me who, but can you tell us when you knew? Well, it's pretty down to the wire when I knew, basically. Okay. Um, okay. It wasn't like you knew days ahead. No, I didn't know days ahead. Because I hadn't, I hadn't heard not. a single shred of information. Well, uh, there was a the whole thing with, with uh, Bungie being rumored, right? So Bungie mm-hmm. was rumored, and I was talking to all the contacts I have about it. And, like, it, it really did seem like Microsoft was trying to do some kind of deal with Bungie for a while. And they were they were talking and all this sort of stuff, and um, for whatever reason it didn't seem to pan out. But like, one of the sources I've been talking to, um, or just people in the you know the community, people who know things, one of them told me that they'd heard Microsoft was hunting for a a quote unquote white whale type purchase. <laughs> Them, white them, whale. Yeah, like their Moby Dick, right? Okay, um, okay. I like that metaphor. And, uh, and uh, I was like, who was that? Like Nintendo or something like that? <laughs> yeah, something that ridiculous. <laughs> so I was trying to think, like, who who could be who could be massive? Who could be described as a white whale? You know? And uh, looks like it turns out it's Bethesda. So that's crazy. Uh, Mike says gameplay keeps lagging for me. Uh, does that, is anyone else having issues with the with the stream? Yeah, is the how's the stream quality? In yeah, general? tell us how the stream quality is. I'm upload. The problem is I'm uploading some files for work, so um, that might affect the stream for a little while while that finishes loading. Um, Geiger's saying it's fine here. Um, yeah, if anyone else is having some issues, let us know. We'll see if we can tweak it. But yeah, why oh my God. That- command grabbed. Oh no, uh, I'm coming. <laughs> okay, it seems like mostly it's fine. Okay. Oh, this guy's spooky. Spooky lad. Wow, he, he hurt. Um, now, which game is this? Slender Man. This is Remnant from the Ashes. Which reminds me, I also need to set up a bot which tells people what game we're playing and stuff like that and where to find our socials and that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll, set, we'll, set, all that that. Sort, we'll set all that sort of stuff up. Um, oh man, that, another checkpoint. That was quick. Um, but, yeah, this is Remnant from the Ashes. It's kind of like Gears of War meets Dark Souls meets Destiny. It's, it's very... It's a hybrid sort of game by the developers of Darksiders and I uh, like it a lot. Yeah. It's quite tough, yeah, it... which makes it fun to stream. And um, and yeah, we've been playing it a fair bit. Yeah, I think Dark Souls meets Gears is kind of the easiest way to like generally describe it, describe yeah. it because it's it plays similar to Gears, but obviously you got the classic Dark Souls roles and you have the Dark Souls kind of progression to it. The Estus Flask, basically the Dragon Heart, as they call it in this. Yeah. But yeah, with really the uh, with like the Bethesda game. stuff, you've been pretty. Um, hey, Blondie, pretty how's it going? A- pretty adamant that there will not be no Elder Scrolls Six on uh, PS Five. Yeah, I don't think those games will come to PlayStation Five. Um, I think like Elder Scrolls and Fallout seventy six expansions and updates are the last you you'll you can hope for from for those franchises on um, on uh, PlayStation. And it, it's purely because of how Microsoft wants to get people to subscribe to Game Pass. If they're buying the games on PlayStation, then they're not subscribing to Game Pass. So what do you do? What you do is 
you tell them to subscribe to xCloud or get an Xbox Series S, which is smaller, more affordable. So you can have your PlayStation 5 as your main console and then maybe pick up an Xbox Series S alongside it. I don't think for a second those games would be on PlayStation. And uh, I will take the massive L if I'm wrong, but I don't <laughs> think I'm wrong. Yeah, it's one I'm of those wrong. things where from a business standpoint, it doesn't really make sense for them to at least do simultaneous releases. The only like scenario I could possibly see them releasing it on PlayStation as well is there's like some sort of Game Pass period in time where you can only play this game for X amount of time th through Game Pass as a way to drive kind of subscriptions. Mm -mm. I don't even but... say that, man, because what you have to do is what, what the whole industry needs to do, the whole industry and the fans and the journalists, they need to realize how small console gaming is. It's, it is, yeah, it's very niche at the, the end of the day. Yeah, the, the total install base of all the consoles together is about 200 million, and it hasn't grown since since PlayStation 2 era, really. Um, it's sort of just been stable, which suggests that it's capped out. Um, so, like, if you want to grow beyond that install base, you need to target new paradigms, new form factors, which means PC and mobile. And mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft... You go where the people are. Yeah, and the PlayStation install base is tiny, and furthermore, the attach rate is even it's even smaller. I see like game journalists who, with business degrees saying stuff like, "Oh, Microsoft can't ignore the hundred million install base of the PlayStation Five, but it doesn't matter what the install base is if the attach rate is tiny." Like yeah. Sony's own games barely break ten million sold on that system. Ten million copies of um, that's, that's Fallout Five sold is worth way less than 10 million Game Pass subscribers to Microsoft. So that's um, that's the truth of it. And I think all the game journalists and all the people who are hoping those games will come to PlayStation 5 are going to be sorely disappointed and really salty about it. Yeah, because you have to think, that if your best-selling games like are selling 10% of your install base or less, like at the end of the day, that's... I, I personally wouldn't really call that a major success. Like, obviously, 10 million is impressive. That's a huge number in, in regards to game sales. But what a lot of people outside of the gaming, like, hardcore gaming space don't really realize or don't want to accept is that price is a realistic barrier for a lot of people playing video games. The average person will not pay 300 to 500 for a unit and then $60 plus per game. Like, they just don't care enough to do that. You know... What, what gets me about all this is the, the amount of hypocrisy and cognitive dissonance that I've been seeing. Like, I've seen, like, YouTubers say that generations are bad and that all games should be next-gen only. But in the same breath, they say that Microsoft should target the PlayStation 4 install base, which, which is, like, <laughs> okay. last-gen. And it's, uh -huh. it's kind of like, hang on a sec, you, you believe in generations or you believe in the PlayStation 4 install base. Like, which is it? It's just like, there's so much hypocrisy, so much contradiction, and uh, cracks me up, man. These games ain't coming to PlayStation 5, and people are going to be super salty about it. People That's are what... sweating, yeah. the it's I, Yeah, I see people trying to spin it, you know, as, oh, you know, Microsoft's pro-consumer, and that's why they're going to let it come to PS5. But at the end of the day, you have the yeah. option to play it on your phone. You have the option to play it on your computer. There's not really doing anything to stop you from playing it, but from a business standpoint, it doesn't make sense for them to simultaneously release these games on other platforms while they're paying to make those games. Yeah, and also people people are saying, like, um, what about the Xbox install base? It doesn't matter about the Xbox install base either because Microsoft's looking beyond the console the console market they're looking to mobile and stuff so if you think of what think about what the install base of Android is and Android has 1.5 billion users that's what Microsoft is looking at and sure as uh, defunct says in the chat but will the average mobile gamer pay 15 pound a month for game pass that's the gamble like will they do it mm -hmm. will yeah. will um Will people put throw down that kind of money to play games on the cloud and stuff like that, or on or on PC as well? Um, you, we don't know yet. Uh, Microsoft has to. That's but that's the gamble that Microsoft's playing. That's the game Microsoft's playing. Microsoft thinks people will subscribe to get Fallout Five or Elder Scrolls Six, 
um, or they'll buy an Xbox Series S to play it. They, they don't need to put it on PlayStation 5. And I, I see loads of journalists saying things like, oh, well, Microsoft needs to make their money back. But it's kind of like, well, no, because they're a 1.5 trillion market cap company. They don't need money. They just yeah, need that's... users right now. Uh-huh. And they don't need to make their money back on all that Bethesda goodness and that 7.5 billion. That'll come. That'll come with Game Pass when it hits critical mass. All this stuff, all this console war stuff is so relevant to what Microsoft's trying to do. Um, yeah, exactly. Microsoft makes some money back from Azure. Yeah, I, I saw an interesting statistic basically talking about, you know, how much money PlayStation made last year, which I, I think was, they generated about $6 billion, I believe, last year was the figure I saw. And then Microsoft just spent more than they made in an entire year on one acquisition, yeah. which kind of puts into perspective how big Microsoft is. So, you know, the argument that, oh, they need the PS5 install base or the PlayStation install base to make money is, it's it's just false. It doesn't make sense. No, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. But, you know, it's, Microsoft's being deliberately vague about it because if Sony comes and announces, um, I don't know, some exclusive, say Sony, say next year at E3, Sony announces The Last of Us 3. And then Microsoft can just counter that with Elder Scrolls 6 trailer, Starfield trailer, and at the end, Xbox PC exclusive. And then mm-hmm. instantly, they've got a massive counter for that. They don't need to say this year whether those games are exclusive because those con- all the consoles will sell out anyway. They can't meet demand in 2020. But in 2021... No when they're when the, the the war's on when things are getting real that's when they whip it out and they say oh yeah by the way these are all exclusive lol sorry lol can, sorry yeah they can well, what's say what's your favorite series of all time elder scrolls okay well you gotta you gotta get an xbox or subscribe to game pass yeah that's the sorry. plan I'm, I'm convinced this is the plan and if i'm wrong i'll take the l i'll happily take that l but i I know I'm not wrong. I know in my bones. Oh, that confidence. Jez is just coming out with them hot, soul-crushing takes for the people who are just unwilling to even dabble in another platform, which, which is what drives me nuts. Like, <laughs> I have a PlayStation. I will buy a PlayStation 5. There are games that I want to play on that. But you just see so many people adamantly vocal about not ever having anything to do with Xbox and then... Anytime Xbox has anything that they only have, people try to downplay it because simply because it is on Xbox, and it's just kind of annoying. I tell you what, it also shows. It also shows that um, game journalists haven't been paying attention to what Xbox is doing. They haven't been paying attention to what Xbox's plans are, and that's why, like, when that's all this Xbox stuff comes out, trash, they get really yes. confused. <laughs> yeah, indeed. That's that's because nobody cares. Xbox is dead. Microsoft was going to shut down Xbox in 2017. I don't know if you knew that, Jez. Yeah, I, I did hear that. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just funny to me. Like, Obviously, I've been you know, teasing people a little bit on Twitter recently, but the hardcore like console war drama to me is just really obnoxious and kind of small-minded. But I do yeah. really enjoy seeing the diehard sweat. Honestly, it does bring me a little bit of joy, and I'm not gonna, not gonna deny that. <laughs> oh wow, COP ten thousand super chat from Co- what's Pire Dawns. Uh, what is your country, mate? We don't. Can you explain pre-orders for me? We don't have them in my country. Uh, what country is that, mate? Yeah. Um. Yeah, where are you at? But yeah, in in America at least. I mean, it's probably pretty much the same in the UK. Like Xbox just put out a graph basically saying these are the times you can pre-order from in these countries from these retailers. And there was just a list. Um, I guess we can segue into the uh, Colombia. The, the pre-order situation. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know why Microsoft isn't in Colombia. These, these things are like complicated. I, I'm pretty sure it's PlayStation in Colombia. I think it is. It, it ultimately depends on where Microsoft is officially present. And if Microsoft isn't officially present in Colombia, I think that that impacts where they can, you know, sell their services and stuff like that. And when you're a company as big as Microsoft, like the government has to be involved and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think it's like it's not out of like a dislike for Colombia or anything. It's just a sort of a business reality sort of thing. Hopefully that they will come to Colombia because I know there's lots of um, countries around the world in in like South Asia and South America and stuff like that where Xbox isn't present and a lot of people would like it to be. It just it just sort of complicated the way all that interconnects and the business stuff. I don't. Really yeah, there's know. a lot of legalities involved, and yeah, I'm sure Microsoft being such a big company, like even just talking to PR, you have to talk to like five people to get any answer on anything. So I'm sure when it comes to bringing a brand and a product to a country, it probably just is quite a process. Yeah, thanks for jumping in, Mike. Um, are Europeans interested in Western RPGs? Would Xbox be in the home of Western RPGs? Gather more European use. Uh, yeah, Europeans love Western RPGs. You know, they love CRPGs, tactical games like Wasteland, and they love Skyrim. Skyrim's big in Europe, you know, and stuff like that. I really do think Bethesda will move the needle in a lot of territories. Um, when, um, you know... There's a there's a common theme with Microsoft like looking to buy RPG makers, and I think that's like that, I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's like that's a conscious effort to um, that's a conscious effort to uh, be the home of RPGs. And I guess with all these studios, Microsoft can definitely claim that now. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where when you when you talk to a lot of people about games they play the most and talk about the most rpgs are always one of the top like genres to come up like people really click and pe people really love rpgs so if you can prove that your platform is the place to be for rpgs in general i mean that's that's a huge deal to a lot of people indeed and then binyabic was asking about um what can they do to improve fighters and jrpgs and quirky japanese games and Fighters, they just need to bring back Killer Instinct. I don't know what the hell happened with that. Man, that's a... Uh, that's, uh, Killer Instinct was an awkward situation because Amazon bought Double Helix out from under Microsoft. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We still haven't seen what Double Helix is even working on, I don't think. They, um, did, they have put out one game under Amazon's banner, and it was... I forget the name, but it was... It was a pretty small-scale game. It didn't... I don't remember being interested in it at all, but it wasn't obviously like a big scale massive release. It was just like a pseudo mobile type release is what it reminded me of. I was a little disappointed because that team really delivered something special with Killer Instinct. And for a while, there was a ton of great support. Even when Iron Galaxy took over, like we were still getting new characters consistently. We were getting the amazing crossovers with Ram from Gears, hmm. Arbiter from Halo. Rash from Battletoads, and then all of a sudden, support just completely stopped. There was zero support. They did. They don't talk about that game at all. Yeah, it really sucks. Um, Iron Galaxy Two. I have no idea why it didn't work out with them. I was. Did I they was leave? That... Is that what happened? I don't or think they just... so. I think the con. They just they had, they had a contract and maybe it ran out. Maybe Microsoft thought this isn't worth pushing ahead with. I mean, at the time, like, Terry Myerson was in charge, and he sucked, and he didn't give Xbox much money to play with. But then, like, Phil got promoted above Windows, and then Xbox got elevated above Windows, and then Microsoft got access to the, you know, all the money in the war chest and stuff. So, like, things changed. Maybe it was just awful timing, and maybe now yeah. Iron Galaxy's busy with other things and stuff like that. Because I think Iron Galaxy did a really good job of picking up I after think so too. Helix. They they came in and they just came out swinging. Like some of the characters and stages that they introduced were incredible. Like season two of Killer Instinct was amazing. So it's not that they weren't capable. I think it was just kind of in that awkward phase where, you know, Microsoft was transitioning Xbox and they weren't really sure how to invest in their IP. So they weren't really investing heavily in any IP kind of for a while. Yeah, I've said that like. Even if they don't do a Killer Instinct sequel, I wouldn't mind if they just kept updating the one they had. I mean, they already updated yeah. it for the 1X, made it 4K60. Make it 8K 120 hertz. The Let's first go. fighting game, that's 120 hertz. Do that. Bring Iron Galaxy back. Put put Doom Guy in there. And start building it out like it's your um, Smash Brothers or whatever. 
but keep making unique characters as well because even the unique characters that Iron Galaxy made were really awesome. So um, I might write an article about that next week. Bring get Iron yeah. Galaxy back onto get them back thing. because they did the hardest thing ever, or not hardest thing ever, but the hardest thing about having a successful fighting game is they had the fighting community behind it and rallying for the game. And yeah. that's like the biggest thing to having a, suce- a successful fighting game nowadays. Yeah. And then they had all that momentum and then just completely dropped it. I kind of feel like Game Pass needs to have a big pillar in every genre. They need mm-hmm. to have like a, fi- a great fighting game. They need to have great RPGs. They need to have maybe even great a great sports game. Like just literally try... Well, they've got EA Play in there, I guess, which covers the sports games, but... Oh yeah, they, Madden and FIFA sports are covered there. Yeah, I suppose they just they need to like have something for every genre, for every taste. If they want to get like if they want to do the Netflix thing, they need to get literally everything in there. Because Netflix it, has something for everyone, right? Yeah, Netflix has something for everyone, and that's obviously that's what they're trying to do. We we've, we've seen their efforts to do that with a, like a ton of different developers and a ton of different releases. But um, yeah, a f- fighting games as it stands right now is a huge gap. Yeah, fighting games are kind of niche, but so are yeah, real-time strategy games, and they're investing a lot in Age of Empires right now. So it's kind of like if they're if they're investing in Age of Empires, why not invest in Killer Instinct as well? It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Bring it. Uh, yeah, that's one. That's one of the IP from Xbox that I feel is like absolutely has to come back in the in the near term. <laughs> I agree. All right, um, let's. I'm gonna just scroll the chat, make sure we didn't miss anything crucial here. Oh, Sam, Samuel Tolbert in the house. What's up, bud? <laughs> hey, Sam, come and join the chat, man. We're on Xbox. Sammy boy. Um. Mm. Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft Live in a week. This time next oh, yeah. week, we'll be watching Minecraft Live. Probably get some updates on dungeons and RTA. I'm hoping that they can drop a little surprise, like, hey, by the way, the ray tracing version of Minecraft is a launch title for the Series X. And that'd S. be pretty sweet. That'd be um, a nice little hype thing. Usually we get the announcement of the next um, Minecraft, uh, what do you call it? Big patch for Minecraft stuff. <laughs> uh, your Danny says, "Please give Miles some bone cream." I need some bone Whoa. cream to fill fill in the Bro. gaps. <laughs> people pay Jess. People pay good money for bone cream. All right. Yeah, bone cream, man. That's These so memes funny. have just permeated my my fucking Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> man, like we, me and Rand are building like so many memes now. Rand Almeida. Bone cream. <laughs> Randall tomato. Filmic. 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 Anthony, Amy. what up, boy? I need to come back with all these memes. Oh, wow. Faisal with a big super chat. Thank you so much for that. Jez, do you think Dang. Minecraft um, example to be used for argument that Bethesda games have gone multiplayer does not apply? Yeah. The the whole Minecraft... I, I always see this people saying, oh, well, look at Minecraft. It doesn't really apply because, honestly, Minecraft's... It's bigger. <laughs> it's bigger than console gaming. It's it's bigger than everything. And the the thing about Minecraft is, Minecraft's almost like a social network. Kids mm-hmm. like get home from school and they all jump on Minecraft, no matter what device they're on, and they all play together. And that's like, it's it's just it's just different. And the fact that it was already on PlayStation as well, you kind of like, Microsoft doesn't. They're not going to take games away from people that are already. There. Elder Scrolls Online, they're not going to take away Fallout 76 unless they no. want it to be really aggressive. But I, I don't think they will. And I think they'll keep updating them and keep keep the expansions rolling for those games on PlayStation 4 and 5. Um, but that said, I don't think Minecraft applies because Elder Scrolls 6 is a single-player game. It's not like... It's not a social network like... Um, it's not a social network like... Uh, Minecraft is. It's not a platform. It's not an education tool. It's 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 just it's just a game. It's a single player game, and it's a single player game that you'll be able to experience via XCloud. I don't think Minecraft is even on XCloud. Um, yeah, it's, it's one not... of those things where Microsoft realizes that Minecraft is a platform, 
And to keep that platform successful, you can't re you don't really want to wall something like that off. It no. was already super established. And I also don't think people realize how much money Minecraft makes. Like, I see people making the Minecraft comparison, but Minecraft is in a league of its own in terms of, like, install base and, and money. It's up there, like, with, or I think it's even beyond Grand Theft Auto V, which is always kind of like the, the benchmark for how much money a game can make. If it's um, um, if we're talking monthly active users, like Minecraft blows Grand Theft Auto Online away, and oh we'll, yeah, oh, we'll yeah. probably hear like we'll probably hear soon like what the current monthly active users of Minecraft is, which I suspect has grown significantly considering lockdown and COVID and all that crap. So um, so uh, you know, Minecraft's just it's just bigger, but the thing is, it's also a game that plays really well on mobile. So you don't really put you don't really put Minecraft into XCloud and tell people to stream it. You just put it natively onto Android and you can buy Minecraft Pocket Edition mm -hmm. on Android and iOS natively because it's it's designed for that. So it's it's a totally different proposition. Whereas like you're not going to be able to play Elder Scrolls 6 in 4K on your iPhone unless you're streaming it. So it's it's a totally different proposition. People are just grasping at straws. They're looking for any kind of sign and prayer that they won't have to have to do this. You know, Sony are lucky that Microsoft isn't coming out and saying that these games are exclusive now. Because mm -hmm. that would shift the needle. That would push people over from PlayStation to Xbox. Like, but next year, when they do announce that these games are exclusive, in my view, then they can start pushing the Xbox Series S to those people and just be like, well, if you've got a PlayStation 5 already... We've got a console that is also white and will fit in your setup <laughs> and it looks really good right man the more i think about it the more i really do think the xbox series s is designed for playstation fans it's designed to be a companion console it's the same color as playstation it's cheaper and mm -hmm. it's got game pass it's almost like this was the plan all along to sell the series x to hardcore to the... xbox fans mm -hmm. and then sell the series s to playstation fans that's why it's white. That's why it's small, okay. and that's why it's cheaper. Conspiracy theories coming Conspiracy out now. Conspiracy okay. theories, Ooh. man. Do 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 do. <laughs> but, Series um, S and Banjo Kazooie remake would steal Nintendo fans too. Yeah, it would. And that's another why, thing that Microsoft sucks at right now. Um, like, kids games, except for Minecraft, obviously. But like, yeah, my Minecraft's huge. Minecraft Dungeons. I mean, it still falls under the Minecraft banner. <laughs> they could really Super do Lucky's with. Super Lucky's Tale did not um, fill that void. No, uh, Super Lucky's Tale didn't fill the void. They could really do... Oh my god, what is this? They could really do with bringing Banjo back as a, as a sort of game for kids that also appeals to adults. Kind of like... Um, kind of like what Sony's doing with Ratchet and Clank, which looks amazing, mm -hmm. by the way. Exactly, yeah. Like, what the hell is that? It's the Ender Dragon. It's the Ender Dragon. Oh no. But... Yeah. Oh god, like, wrong button. Oh, oh yeah, watch it. out. There's there's pits of like oil on the ground here. Conveniently. <laughs> oh my god. I want to see Double Fine make banjo. That's who I want to see make a banjo game. That'd be sick. Give Homie Schaefer a chance to make a super weird banjo kazooie. A banjo is pretty weird in its own right, wasn't it? That's true. Rare's always been weird, which is probably the reason that I personally love Rare so much, is because they're not afraid to be weird. Do we have to kill him in a certain way? Oh my you god! Gotta, <laughs> oh, you just gotta shoot him in the heart! The heart of Ender. How do we shoot him in the heart, though? He's got that little red spot, you'll see it. Oh, oh, stays. Or it's spicy. orange, sorry. He's got like a little cavity in his chest. There it is, I'm, get him. I'm dying, him. this is not good. No, Jez, no! That's no good. Whew. I'm trying to hit him in the chest, but he's like constantly lying down, so it's kind of hard. Oh, there he is. Get him. Get him. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ooh, that's a fireball. Oh my god. Oh, he coming. I was getting hot almond fire. Psychonauts with the two dollar super chat. Xbox Series X. Perfect. Day one a dish. Did you see my egg, my Xbox? I did. I was. I did. 
I love it. I love I was, it. I was lying awake at like five in the morning and and thinking, eggs box series of eggs social post. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Just god, that hurt. All about that engagement, bruh. That juicy engagement. The juicy. Oh god, we're at boys. That's no good. But how was your experience pre-ordering the Series X, Jazz? You got one locked down. Yeah, it was. Um, it wasn't bad in the UK. I don't think. Um, what a bunch did of the retailer sites uh, were broken. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I am very dead. I'm coming. I'm coming. I would be very careful because the boss is right next to me. Where do you go? Oh, oh, oh it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh god. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Oh my god. Please. Oh no, I'm getting fucking. Fired. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, I just I gotta run. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my god, that's bad. It's, get, it's getting too spicy. Uh, I'm getting too spicy up in here. Uh, Samuel Tolbert, if you're still in the chat, you can join us on the Xbox Live if you want, man. If you want to join the the combo. Um, Xbox Series oh, X on. as a secondary system is a great proposition, so Sony fanboys won't feel hurt. Oh, and, oh no, uh, I gotta run. No! No! Yeah, the Fuck. Series S is, uh, it definitely feels like a companion console. Definitely feels like that. Um, it's, yeah, they, God, they're obviously die. going for the impulse That's buy fine. with the Series S. Like, the Series X, as we've seen, had way more pre-orders, and they, it seems like they allocated way more X's than S's for pre-orders. But I think we're going to see a lot more Series S in retail locations for people, you know, Shopping for the holidays, I'm like oh, three hundred bucks yeah. in Game Pass, cool. I That's think, an easy um, gift. I think yeah, there's that aspect of it. The Series X is priority now, but I think like in 2021, when people have decided what their main consoles are, they'll start pushing the S a lot more and try and get the secondary market as well. It's uh oh damn it! <laughs> Why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? You waste a dragon heart. Almost. And I've talked about this a little bit already, but I'm fairly confident we'll, despite whatever, however you want to shift demand, we will see more Xboxes sold this holiday than PlayStations. You think so? Yeah. I think it's going to come down to availability. I've talked about this a little bit before. No matter what console released this year, and no matter what the specs were, whoever made more consoles is going to sell more consoles. And that's really think, what it comes down to right now. I think PlayStation probably made more consoles because they, they're they working off our, an older version of RDNA, which means the silicon was there available, whereas Microsoft went for full-blown RDNA 2, which means the silicon wasn't there. So I wouldn't be surprised if Sony's manufacturing way more than Xbox right now, but that won't be the case next year. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting how, how many factors and facets there are to this. But. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the logistics are pretty complicated. Oh my god, I'm on fire. And then I, I, I do want to... probably immune to fire, and I'm trying to hit him with fire spells right now. I do want to pick your brain about the um, crap. Since a lot of the you know reports that we've heard about PlayStation Five production have kind of ended up being true, there was one from earlier this year where. They talked about PlayStation having to basically redesign the form factor of the PlayStation 5 due to heating issues. Um, Do you think that was real? Do you think they had a completely different shape already ready to go and they had to tweak that due to cooling and heating? I have, I have no idea. I have no idea if that's true or fake or just some rumors or whatever or people trying to so discontent against PlayStation. Because it works both ways, right? Exactly, so, yeah. Um, so, I have no idea if that's true. I certainly didn't hear anything like that. But then again, I don't cover PlayStation. I don't really look for PlayStation info as much as I look for Xbox info. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised, though, because it does feel a little bit like the PlayStation 5's coming in hot. I don't think Sony wanted to make a console that was that big. I don't think no. Sony wanted to make a console that was... RDNA one. Um, I don't think they wanted to to do any of that stuff. Um, well, I don't think that's that they did didn't want to make a console that was RDNA one. 
I just don't think that they expected Xbox to fully embrace RDNA 2. I think is more so what that was. Yeah, I think like Microsoft had a bit more wiggle room to to go for full blown RDNA 2 because as we as we said earlier, their their real goal is growing Game Pass on PC and X Cloud right now. It's just it's just anchored in the console. It's just anchored in the console. Um, so. Uh, you know, that's how that could work. And the uh, Slenderman says, Hey, Jez, do you think GTA 6 will be timed exclusive in PlayStation 5 in response to Elder Scrolls 6 being exclusive to Xbox? You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if you see... Well, that's that's the reason Microsoft's saving the announcement that those games are exclusive, right? Because... It's for the next big, like, hey, we have this for a year. Yeah, it's for the, it's for the next Final Fantasy 16 situation. So if, if they come out and say... Um, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6 is timed exclusive for six months or whatever. So Microsoft can be like, well, Elder Scrolls 6 is permanently exclusive, you know. And they, they, they have that card to play when, they, when it can be the most effective play. Mm-hmm. That's why they're being kind of coy about it right now. They're letting people Phil's sort of think for themselves. very PR. If you, um, he's had a bunch of interviews about it. He's, he's giving some very PR answers in regards yeah. to exclusivity and saying like we're going to make sure we support the xbox platform non-committal case-by-case basis kind of stuff but really what that tells me is that more than likely 98 percent of the ips and games in that banner are going to be exclusive yeah in some way shape or form i um it's uh you know it's just marketing it's smart and honestly Sony gets away a lot with doing these sort of non-committal answers. Like, I always see in PlayStation interviews, um, yes, all 4,000 PlayStation 4 games can run on PlayStation 5. That's literally... 99%. Yeah, 99 percent Yeah, something like that. 99% is a Jim Ryan quote. Yeah, that, that is what they said in an interview. They said they can run. However, now yes, we know not... that only 100 are going to run at launch, if that. The so, top 100 are the top 100. being set up to run again we don't even know they can't even give us a confirmation that 100 games will be backwards compatible right now yeah so i think phil is sort of like being like okay well no more mr nice guy it's t- it's time to like actually show that xbox has teeth Be shirtless phil with the rocket teeth. launcher meme <laughs> shirtless <laughs> phil with the rocket launcher meme exactly exactly <laughs> Papa um, Phil's coming in hot right now. Indeed. Could Sony afford GTA for a one-year exclusive? They they definitely could, but only because Microsoft isn't buying. I suppose Microsoft could bid them up, maybe, but why would they bother? They've got, um... Why would they bother? They've got Fallout and Elder Scrolls, you know. Yeah, that's um, the thing. Like, people think that... I always see people spin the narrative that Xbox just can't afford these exclusives, which, as we've seen, is just definitively not true at this point but that's not what yeah. it is it's not that they can't afford it they just don't really see the need from a business standpoint to do it it's like you'll notice when phil got, became in charge that they stopped having the three month timed exclusivity on call of duty map packs and stuff and the mm-hmm. and call of duty dlc and things like that it's um it's just it just sort of like it's they've just got a very different strategy i think microsoft would be like Rather than just paying to money hat something and just keep it arbitrarily off another system, they'd rather buy the company and see like how they can enhance those games. Like, can the next Elder Scrolls engine be actually really Please. solid? Built God, they need custom a new engine. built for Xbox. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's the Dude. thing. Now, now they don't have to make an engine for two different systems. They can focus on purely the Microsoft APIs on PC and, and uh and uh steam and uh xbox then you know it, it hopefully will lead to a more polished experience you'd have to hope wouldn't you you'd, but, you'd um, have to hope and pray that some of the jank even just even if we could dial the jank down like 10 percent, i'd i'd be happy but <laughs> i'm i'm glad they confirmed that there will be a new engine because i was sort of in the camp that i was i was sort of expecting the next elder scrolls and fallout to just keep using that same janky engine <laughs> I was a little worried. And we got uh, Fasal007 who says E321 is going to be crazy. Oh, Jez is just typing up a storm. (laughs) (laughs) 
But yeah, so I I managed to lock down an Xbox Series X through the Microsoft store for my pre-order. But I had all my major retailers open, Target, Best Buy, Walmart. I got to the basically end of the transaction with Walmart and Target and had it bounce back and say, out of stock. And the websites were just so janky and bogged down that it took me 30 minutes to complete my transaction on the Xbox store. I had it in my cart trying to check out for 30 straight minutes. I was sweating. <laughs> I thought for sure that I was just going to be hosed. I was like, no, no, because I was there oh, on the dot and I had to refresh the Xbox page. No joke, 150 times. Like I was I was stressing hard. Well, that's funny. That is funny. I'm trying to like figure out how to add a mod to our chat. Ooh, yeah. We get, we got Hazard or slamming the hammer down. How many, we got 152 people in here? Dang. Appreciate y'all hanging out on this on this Saturday morning, evening, afternoon. Jez and I are kind of Windows Central gaming worldwide because we're in pretty much polar opposite time zones. <laughs> But we make it work. We do. We try. We try our best. We try. Um, loyalty. Viewers can earn currency while you stream. They can use that currency in mini games, giveaways, and to trigger commands. Interesting. Windows Central Gaming growing like Game Pass. I want to see that growth. Can we get from 10,000 subs to 15 million in five months? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, we can do giveaways through this mod system, too. Oh, okay. That's something for the future. That'll be fun. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll start working on some, some interactive stuff. and. Yeah, for sure. Um, do we think Game Pass is going to hit 20 milli by the end of this year? Yes, I think Game Pass will easily hit 20 milli. I'm 100% million sure, yeah. I'm, I'd be willing to throw down some ducats. Ducats? I'll, duck I'll throw down... I'll throw down a year of game. I'll give somebody a year of Game Pass if I'm wrong. Me? <laughs> no. Not <laughs> you. <laughs> Only if you do more ASMR will will you get growth. That's fine. I... <laughs> oh, Samuel Ooh. said he was trying to join the chat, but it didn't work. On Xbox. Oh yeah, it's it's locked down. I think I have Sammy boy. Yeah, dire, dire wolf. Oh, I found a... What is that? Can I pick that up? Game on... Oh, there we go. Uh, too long, didn't read it. Um, man, the Darksiders devs really do love these floating rock paths, don't they? Like when Starfield and Fallout and the next Doom and the next Wolfenstein and all that stuff are all exclusive, people will just have to, you know, put up with it. That's just the way things are going to be now. It's just the way things are going to be, baby. Uh, Faisal, thanks for that super chat, man. I missed that earlier. E three twenty one is going to be crazy, yeah, man. And especially since Microsoft was saying like they're not even finished yet. Oh, Mars left the party. That's why that happened. Where did he go? Where's Miles gone? He's left me all alone. Miles, come back to the party, buddy. I, need, I don't have Samuel Talbot's Gamertag. What game is this? This is a Remnant from the Ashes on Xbox One. Oh, and uh, the Streamlabs bot seems to be working now. I can't even reply because this My Miles is game, so I can't reply to this woman. How's Miles gone? He's like, he's bailed and left me all alone. 
아 m 아 n a n But yeah, guys, if um if you have any suggestions for the stream about what things you'd like us to see do differently and things, you know, like I don't know features you'd like to see, we can do giveaways and that sort of thing, and uh, all those things we can come up with. Just hit me up on social media, drop me a DM. I want this to be a collaborative effort yes. between ourselves yes. and <laughs> the chat. Sop Miles, you there? Oh, what? Miles? Okay, Jez, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. But I... You Jez! Can't hear me <laughs> Why? You can't hear me. Jez! Uh... Oh, god damn it. Hang on a sec. Uh... Right, let's try again. Man, I don't know why none of this. Sorry, guys, technical issues. You know what? You know what this streaming, live streaming life is like. Um, live interview with a game developer. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Do a game of the month suggestion or something. Hmm, yeah, we could do that too. Jez, when does DX12 Ultimate launch? I actually have no idea. I need to look at that. Um, guys, do you know if you get reward points for buying Series X on the Microsoft Store? I believe you do, but. That's something I would need to check for to be certain. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, I'll look in my in my history to see if uh, hardware purchases translate. Let's see if this chat actually works. Yay! Can you hear me? Yay! Yes. I'm oh, sorry. Super quiet I... for me right now. Am I? I'm a now. Um. Say something. I um. Yeah, I accidentally invited Sam to the party from the Xbox. <laughs> and um, forgot that I was in the PC chat. So my PC chat did not know how to compute what was happening there. All oh, right. Well, I can, I can okay. barely hear you now, which is not fun. Do I sound quiet in the stream? Um, say something. Hello, do I sound quiet in the stream? <laughs> no, I don't think you're quiet in the stream, judging by the waveform. But I, I okay. can barely hear you now, which is just amazing. I love these Technical I love issue. these little, yeah, it's it's a fun little twist. All right, let me try to get Sam in here through the actual PC app. Dear God, I blame Sam. Actually, hope... dude, um, re-invite me because the audio levels are all messed up now. To the game or to, to the To Xbox chat on PC. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is, uh, you know, all fun and games until everything breaks. Uh, yeah, the audio levels are fine on stream, but I can't hear Miles, and I kind of need to hear Miles. Um, can I drop a link to WCG on Twitter for you? Sure, Blondie. Hey, Blondie, I'll, I'll make you a moderator if you want. Um, like, no pressure. You don't have to have to do any moderating or anything, because I know you, you've got a lot of stuff to do anyway, but uh, I trust your skills to play the bills. Pay the bills. Play the bills? Alright, let's try this again. Hello? Okay. What is up, gamers? Mm, what? It's still low. Open up your chat, your volume mixer, and your sound settings. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's, it's okay. Better now. okay, sorry, everyone. Dear God. I, um, again, <laughs> was trying to invite Sam to the chat and did it through the Xbox, and the PC just exploded. <laughs> Wow, F and peace. F and peace. So we're back. Okay. Apologies. Rookie move. Alright. Uh, I sent Sam an invite. Now I'm switching back over to my Xbox. I'm also hearing... I might be coming in too hot because I'm hearing myself come back a little bit. Ooh. Oh, hang on. You, you can hear yourself coming back on PC or on... Oh, on your microphone. On my microphone? Are you watching the stream? Or... Hang on a sec. Yo! I'm just blasting those party invites! <laughs> okay. You shouldn't right. be able to hear, him, hear yourself. Hello, 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 hello! I think we're fine. Alright, uh, can you guys hear me now? Samuel! What's up, boy? Yes, we can hear Sam. 
Can you hear me now? I can hear you. That's interesting. Ooh. I cannot hear you. That is fascinating. Okay. Um. Anyway, what's up? Welcome back. <laughs> or I guess I should say, uh, I'm back. You guys didn't go anywhere, but I did. <laughs> Just got someone crouching in front of me when I come back here? Okay, cool. Boom, ba doom, ba. What's going on, Jess? I don't know, the Xbox mic's not picking me up. Samuel's mic is too background noisy. There we go, there we go. Can you guys, uh, say something? Hello? Hello! There we go, there we go. I can hear you hey. now. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. Hazador, I'm fudging up. But we're back in business, I believe. Uh, S Samuel, do you have a different microphone? Or do you have a fan blowing into your mic? <laughs> Uh, I have a ceiling fan, but... Oh, there's too be... much background noise on your mic, Sam, dude. Okay, yeah, no worries. I'll hop out and see what I can do. Alright, thanks for that. Uh, need to get Samuel... I need to get Samuel a different mic or something. A little sensitive... A little sen... Yeah, I'm hearing just a fan. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um... Anyway, uh, uh, brief yeah. intermission. Sorry what, about what? that. Welcome back to Xbox Chatter Days. Welcome back. And uh, I was going to mod Blondie. Blondie, you getting that mod? Hell yeah. Can you hear me? Is the sentence of 2020. Yeah, it really is. It really is. <laughs> it, it re that's, a, that's a vibe. That's an absolute vibe. That's a mega vibe. That's how you answer your phone. That's how you answer any work call. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Just go. Make it oh, I'm getting smacked. It'd be nice if, yeah, Xbox incorporated a mic gain feature. I feel like it's a pretty basic thing, but... Yeah, uh, that's why I use PC chat, so I can use my nicer microphone and have a little more control over the settings. Because Xbox from the console is pretty limited for chat. Uh, Drudwin says, do we think Starfield is an exclusive or is that close enough for a contractual agreement? No, that's that's going to be exclusive. Like, there's no such contractual agreement where Microsoft has to put a game they own on Sony's platform. They can just be like, oh, well, we're not doing that. And then pull out the contract. There's no, there's no reason they have to follow through oh, with that by damn. any means. Exa and, and they haven't... I, I have they announced platforms, actually, now that they think about it? I feel like it hasn't even made official what platforms that was coming to. I don't know. Miles, are you still getting feedback? No. I um I think I sound good. Video stream just staying around? What? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Damn boy, you smacking those sticks. What are you, what are you doing? Sorry guys, I'm like I'm doing like loads of different things right now. Um, we we will uh, next week we'll be a little bit more organized than we've been this week. Um, I basically before right before we started streaming, I was filming like a million a million uh, comparisons of the Xbox Series X with uh, next to other things. Is this chat day going to be a weekly thing? Yes, it is. It's going to be every yep. every chat day. Sat, and we kind of have to split the difference between our time zones, so it's, it's, I'm mountain time, so it's 10 a.m. mountain time, and then, what is it for you, 5 p.m. BST? And it's 6 p.m. right now. Okay, okay. So yeah, that's, we're kind of splitting the difference. <laughs> one of us streaming during breakfast, and one of us streaming during dinner. Yeah. Um... I mean, we'll Ooh, try to ben make Vic it every week. shade on you. He says, every week if you show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, some some weeks it'll just be Miles by himself, I think. Because there are some weeks when... Or there might be weeks where I'm by myself or whatever. Because there are, you know, some weeks I might want to go and get completely wasted on a Saturday instead. 
Hey, all right. I so. can't I can't fault you for that. Yeah, I guess from a branding perspective, I will be the the quote unquote host of this this ordeal, and we're <laughs> we're working <laughs> to get some guests on, and we're working to get some folks from the industry on. Industry people are a little harder because they typically have to go, get PR approval to be on to talk about anything they're working on. But ultimately, that's kind of the goal with this. Oh, I, oh, I thought it was the goal. Yeah, Jez says he's busy all the time, but mostly, I don't know. <laughs> mostly he's just, me he's just making tomato memes and taking pictures of eggs next to Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Calling that work. Miles, do you know how long the campaign for the Falconeer is going to be? Um, I can't say. I'm not allowed to say. But yes, I do know, I do know about how long it's going to be. <laughs> but I can't tell you. I actually don't. I'm going to go in blind to that game. I don't really know that much about it. I did have the same build that Miles had, but I didn't really play it much because um, I was too busy. I That's Jez. That's Jez typing up a story. <laughs> But um, man, yeah, I need to get um, I need to get some uh, yellow cap razor keys because these yeah, these red the ones soft. are too just too the, noisy. Just the soft or just gentle gentle strokes, bro. Ergonomic strokes. Man, nah, it's it's this mechanical keyboard, man. It's it's designed to be loud, I guess. It's that's um, how you know that you're gaming hard. That's yeah, the only reason that mechanical hard, keyboards man. exist is so you can hear that you're gaming hard. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we got an early build of the Falconeer. It was the entire game, but I'm, I'm only allowed to talk about Chapters 1 and 2 right now. So you can ask me any questions you want about Chapters 1 and 2. Cause I oh, played... my God, I'm bound to death. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. We got a big boy coming. We got a big boy coming. <laughs> Damn it, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let me take out this thick boy. <laughs> oh. oh dear. I'm coming. I'm just throwing heels down. Oh no, please. I'm on fire too. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh -huh. I think we died literally the same place twice now. Is a Falcon there coming to Game Pass? I actually don't know about that. You should get brown keys that are tactile but quiet. Yeah, I'm going to get... um When uh, it comes out in the UK, I'm going to get that new uh, that new wireless Razer keyboard. I can't remember what it's called now. Is it the... Hunt, Huntsman V2 or something. The Razer announced a new keyboard that's like wireless, but has like the same latency as being plugged in. So that's pretty cool. From that's pretty where I'm cool. Standing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that one uh, with the yellow keys, which are their silent keys apparently. So I'll probably go for that one. Oh no! Please let me pick you up. No. Oh, damn. No. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um. Yeah. So they haven't confirmed that the Falconeer is launching in Game Pass. I have a sneaking suspicion it will. I don't know for sure though, so I'm, I won't say for sure. But I'm, I have a sneaking suspicion that it will be launching in Game Pass. Um, and is it Crimson Skies in a fantasy world? It's if you watch my preview, I kind of talk about the the dynamic of it, and it's got this really interesting balance of kind of up and down time, because sometimes you're having tense dogfights like Crimson Skies where you're, you're circling, you're fighting enemies, you're taking down bosses. But other times, you're just kind of like peacefully flying around this serene environment. And it's, um, it's really satisfying in that way, because it's, it's chill. It's equal parts chill and kind of like intense action. So Crimson Skies is a good comparison. Panzer Dragoon's a good comparison. And kind of Star Fox as well. But I talk about Sea of Thieves specifically because one of my favorite things about Sea of Thieves sometimes is just like sailing around and taking in the environments. And that's something I spent a lot of time doing with the Falconeer. Like get veering off my main quest path and just like checking out some landmarks. Uh, Jez, you should try some Warhammer Vermintide. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a list of games we want to play. I, I want to play Vermintide. I also want to play Deep Rock Galactic sometimes because it's just it's about to get a big update with new content and endgame stuff. I haven't played that game anywhere near as much as I'd like to. Um, that's one game I want to play. Jez, why do some people in the gaming say it's okay for Sony to have exclusives but not okay for Xbox to have exclusives? Uh, they're biased, basically. See, the thing what? is, right? 
when um when it comes to Windows Central, we only cover Microsoft, right? So you know, you know, we're gonna come at it with the opinion that you know we are Xbox gamers and PC gamers primarily. But mm-hmm. when you get like the multi-platform websites, they pretend to be neutral, but really they ain't. And then they trip up on hypocrisy way more than you know they would if they were a specialized site. You know, like obviously. Obviously, I'm going to say I'd rather those games be on Xbox and stuff like that because I'm an Xbox gamer. I don't pretend yeah. I don't pretend to not be primarily an Xbox gamer or primarily a PC gamer. Um, but a lot of these people are just exposing themselves to being hypocrites and, uh, you know, exposing that they do have bias and they do prefer PlayStation. That's ultimately where they're falling here, in my opinion. It's... And it's it's fine. That what I think a lot of people get tripped up on too is it's it's okay to have a bias. Like yeah, like it's it's totally okay to have a preference. Just admit it. Admit exactly. it. Just you have acknowledge a what your bias is and just make that known. And then, as someone who's like kind of consuming or watching or reading this content, just be aware of their bias as well. Like it's obviously more work on your part as someone in the space interested in this in these topics but it's it's not inherently a bad thing to prefer one platform and i don't think and i think that's where a lot of people get tripped up on and get defensive about is that he prefers playstation so he he doesn't get to talk about xbox or however people i see people spin it that way on social media and that's definitely not the case yeah i think like um people should just be honest and truthful about what their preferences are um, a lot of people aren't, and then it manifests in these sort of weird, hypocritical takes. Like, they're so desperate to appear neutral that they say things that are blatantly contradictory. Like, like for example, saying it's okay for Sony to have exclusives, but Microsoft shouldn't have exclusives. Like, what, in what universe does that make any sense? Yeah. So, um, you know, it is I, what it is. Uh, throwing back to someone's comment about, you know... Because of Minecraft being cross-platform, that other studios' Xbox buys will be cross-platform. I think, realistically, a better comparison is Insomniac Games. If, if that's kind of the metric that we want to use. Sony didn't buy Insomniac to make multi-platform games. No, they didn't. Um, but, I don't know. I don't know. And the thing is, having a preference doesn't mean you can't criticize what your preference is. I'm pretty exactly. sure I've criticized Xbox and Microsoft more than literally any other anyone in the industry. But I don't try to subvert them. And I feel like some journalists really do try and subvert them like to spin spin the, the negatives in a way that makes them positive, which is just anytime you're defending something that's against your own best interest you just you look silly and i don't get why so many people feel the need to do that yeah like xbox should not be charging console players for gold and not charging people on pc for the same services like yeah i agree on that like we've we've talked about like um you know we've attacked microsoft for having really crappy localization on xbox uh, I haven't seen any other journalists talk about that because they don't care about Xbox. They don't care if Xbox has crappy localization because they want it to fail. Like, I want Xbox to have <laughs> a bad product, you know? Yeah, and... you can you can criticize something without hating it, which is another, like, only people just have to be all all or nothing when it comes to these platforms. Yeah, you can You can point out a flaw without saying Xbox is trash or PlayStation is trash, and if you like Xbox or PlayStation, you're just a dumb fanboy, which is kind of where a lot of people are right now, and I... There's no nuance to that. There's no logic. There's no sort of personality to that. You're you're tying who you are to Plastic. standing a brand. Exactly. Like, stop it. Just stop it. What the hell is this? Oh, there's like a, a hole for, for an item here. Ooh. Um... Ooh. But yeah, it's, it just is what it is, you know. Um, but we're a specialist site, so we're going to cover the good and the bad. We're not going to give Microsoft a free pass on anything ever. Uh, in mm-hmm. fact, we're less likely to give them a free pass than other websites, in my opinion. Because we're a little more invested in the platform. Like, obviously, we want Xbox to be yeah, we to want... actually be the their marketing buzzword of the best place to play, as exactly. Phil Spencer says often. And 
you know, you got to hold them accountable if that's really what their mission is. Yeah, that's our mission is to hold Microsoft accountable at the end of the day. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be attacking them about localization next week again because Xbox fans have come to me and said, you know, why can we still not see what languages our game supports? Why is Microsoft still so Anglo-centric? You know, and if Microsoft wants to be a global company, they need to, they need to get this stuff right. But I don't see any of the journalists talking about this because they don't care about Xbox. So you need to have specialist websites who do care, who will advocate for this stuff. And, um, yeah. Yeah. There's no hypocrisy here. Only pure cold facts. Just knowledge. Windows Central Gaming <laughs> is bringing that hard knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> where the hell are we going? I, that's the problem with this game. You, you, you just go where you haven't been on the map and hope that's the right way to go. No, I'm going this way then. I'm hoping... Yeah, I hope Yakuza... I st I'm still polling for Yakuza Like a Dragon to launch in Game Pass. I don't know if it actually will. I feel like they would have announced it at TGS if that was going to happen, but... Yo, Jez, do you know if there's any plans for Series X S to have a dev mode? I... They haven't officially said, but my guess is no. And I'll tell you why. Dev mode was the source for a lot of leaks. A lot Ooh. of leaks. And not many people... Not many people actually used it for what it was intended for, which was making games. Yeah, they just <laughs> used it to like get into the system data and see if there's new features coming. Or Yeah, so I think I wouldn't be surprised if dev game development next gen is restricted to actual dev kits. But from what I've heard is that there's a Xbox One S, Xbox Series S dev kit. So there's like, there's like um, a cheaper dev kit which smaller devs can get their hands on more easily than the, the full-blown dev kit that's designed more for publishers. Um, so there is that aspect to it as well. Oh, yeah, we got to go get a key. Otherwise, we just get burned alive as we try to enter here. Yeah, that's probably not what I want to happen. Dr. Vortex, what's good? Hey, Vortex, how's it going, man? Realistically, right. do you expect Microsoft to reveal more acquisitions before launch? If so, which ones come to mind? Xbox era says there's more to come. Well, Phil and Satya themselves said there's more to come. I yeah, personally that's, that's have known. yeah, I personally have no information about what that could be. I've heard Bluber team's name thrown around. I've heard Asobo's name thrown around. Um, but ultimately, I personally don't know. I'd like to think Let's that the answer is yes, but yeah, um, before the end of the year, before launch, was that the question? Yeah, before. I don't know if we'll see anything else before launch. Because we're what? seven seven weeks six weeks out from launch at this point yeah maybe thanks for that super chat by the way tony i really appreciate that um oh, yeah, as well by the way jez do you think xbox and like persona will come to xbox next year man i think if persona was going to come to xbox they would have announced it at tgs um mm -hmm. yeah. i have no idea why they don't like the fact that basically i think what what would help xbox get their hands on persona is if people get persona on game pass or pc because i believe it is there now right persona 5 real or did i completely imagine that did i imagine persona that? 5 i don't think is on game pass for pc for pc did i uh, did there's I completely a disgaea oh uh, did i get a mix added. up with disgaea i think i is might have got a mix of? yeah maybe let's <clears throat> let's double check oh man i am a sleepy yeah, as said, boy yeah, you... I think you're just making yeah, stuff up now. I'm just making stuff up in my head. Yeah, this guy, okay, Persona's not on Game Pass for PC. But, um, it was Game Pass for PC that, um, oh God, oh God. convinced, it was Game Pass that convinced Sega to put Yakuza on Xbox. So, um, maybe something similar will happen for Persona, but the thing is, I'm unsure what the deal is with Persona. I don't know if Sega just owns the publishing rights or something, or... If Atlas is semi-independent, and maybe Atlas is just like, nah, this isn't worth the effort. Like, I don't know what the the, the politics around that are and is. So, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, Persona 4 coming to PC is a good step in that direction. Um, it's kind of this catch-22 when it comes to a lot of these Japanese games. Is A lot of them are tied to PlayStation. And, and some of them get, like, you know, launches on PlayStation first. And then they'll come to Xbox after the fact. 
but realistically the the main audience that is interested in those games probably already bought them so the data probably shows that they just aren't selling that well on xbox so hopefully game pass can kind of curb that and show that people will play them because i think that's a lot of the japanese publishers fears right now because they have data that shows the games don't sell that well on xbox what the hell was that i got a ring Ooh. Man, that boy was chewing me up. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's the Switch port of Dragon Quest, not the PS4 port. Is that confirmed? Are you sure? It, really they're weird. saying it's Series X. Like, it's got the Series X and S, like, enhancement badge on it. It might be a Nintendo Switch port, because maybe Nintendo Switch is easier to port from. But they can still enhance it, because it's x86, isn't it? It's still... Is NVIDIA Tigre X86 or is it IRM? I don't even know, man. I'm like, I don't... See, this is the problem, like, when I don't really cover those other platforms. There's, like, a lot of gaps in my in my knowledge. Um, it is it's a Switch, Switch port, port for, okay. for PS4 also. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't know. Was the Switch port bad compared to the PC port or something? Um, I played the Switch version. I mean, it's your typical Switch port where the resolution's lower and the, like, frame rate's lower, but I felt overall, like, the game looked good. I'm definitely stoked to play it on my Xbox, like, I played it for a couple hours on Switch, but... Yeah, that's a game I'll play on, probably, on cloud streaming. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a cheap Android phone and just leave it in the Razer Kishi at all times, rather than have both my phone swapping my phone out because one thing that annoys me about xcloud is that you lose access to your notifications and shit yeah like when someone comes online or you get an invite or anything like that yeah stuff like that uh hmm What's on your mind, Jez? What's on, what's on your mind? What's on my mind? Uh, food's on my mind because it's half past six and I'm bloody hungry. Dang. Dang. Didn't really Gotta eat slam a today. protein bar. Pre-stream protein. Protein. <laughs> protein bar. Wow. Um, Cloudbot. I'm not... So, at this point, Jez. What launch titles are you, or let's say if you had to pick one launch title that you were the most excited to play on the Series X, or not even, it doesn't even have to be a new game. What game are you most looking forward to playing on the Xbox Series X? Mm -hmm. You had to pick question. one. Um, man. <sighs> S same question for folks watching. It's weird, it's weird because the game I want to say, I can't say because I've played it. But I'm not allowed to say that I've played it. I'm calling it. the cops. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you're just teasing people, Jazz. Why even bring it up, bro? Yeah, I am teasing people. <laughs> um, there's a certain Ubisoft game that I'm looking forward to, having played it last week, that I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, so that's now, after having played it, I wasn't that interested in it before... I mean, you can ask me when the embargo's up what game I'm talking about. You can probably guess, since there's only two of them coming out this year. Um, but this particular Ubisoft game, I played recently and I absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to talk more about it when the embargo lifts. Um, you tease. You freaking yeah. tease. <laughs> uh, Immortalis? Is, that's not coming out this year, is it? Immortalis? I don't, I don't think Rising. I've seen a... Date. Oh wait, yeah, that is. Oh, Immortals. Uh, you call it okay? I was like Immortalis. Yeah, Immortals Phoenix Rising Immortals. comes out December fourth, yeah, yeah. first week of December. Oh right, okay. Um, I haven't played that one. Um, I, one I've watched about three hours of gameplay on that, and it's if you if you are a big fan of Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, like those are obvious comparisons. It's got the classic Ubisoft open world like gear system that they've been using for the last two Assassin's Creeds and then they just pretty much ripped off a lot of the puzzle design from Breath of the Wild 
That being said, it looks really good. I'm pretty excited about that, having seen a lot. Because when they first announced it, I was just kind of like, this just looks like a Breath of the Wild ripoff. But having seen a significant amount of it, it looks it looks fun. It looks really good. Dude, what the hell's going on? We're in like a post-apocalypse desert, and now we're in some kind of sp Geiger-esque spaceship? <laughs> exactly. What's going on? That this is remnant. It's, it's the. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't played it, but they kind of explain it as you play through, like why there's all these different weird areas and zones, and it's very, not really H.P. Lovecraft, but a very psychological, eth ether dream state. The medium and scorn says Jay Gordon, and I'm right there with you. The medium right now is my game I'm most excited to play on the Series X like by far. That game looks incredible. I'm a huge fan of the, the guys from Bloober or the team from Bloober I should say. Um, I actually got to talk to a couple of them recently. Do a little interview about the medium. Um, and that was that was really cool. Those guys are fun. Those guys are the biggest horror nerds. Like when it comes to horror games like those guys are huge horror nerds. So if you're a horror fan and you're not following the bloober development team that's something you, you gotta address because those guys love horror and they have an amazing track record of scary games nice uh, yeah ralph lewis like we talked about that earlier the fact that the games media will go to bat for playstation but they they don't give a crap about xbox fans and they've made that apparent like since 2013 and frankly before then I don't even, you know, it, it kind of, I've, I've got a theory about this, and it kind of goes to um, a lot of game journalists are of a certain age where they grew up with Microsoft in the 90s. Oh, God, I'm dead. And, um, no. No. Yeah, I'm very dead. Uh, and Microsoft okay. in the 90s, this, you, is, <laughs> this is my conspiracy theory about game journalists. A lot of them are at a certain age where they grew up in the 90s, and they watched oh, Microsoft no. be assholes and stuff. And now they just can't get out of that mentality that Microsoft is evil and that they just want to think that forever. Um, that's kind of where <laughs> what I'm thinking right now. Do, 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 do. The, the Jez Conspiracy Corner. <laughs> yeah, on that's, that's my conspiracy Xbox chat. But by that same logic, they would have to hate Nintendo as well. Because Nintendo's all, like, as much as I love Nintendo, they've always kind of been assholes when it comes to See, their properties. You're, show, you're showing your age now because. You, you 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 don't even know the kind of things Microsoft did in the nineties, man. Like buying companies just to shut them down, and the antitrust thing with uh, with Internet Explorer and stuff like that. Like Microsoft, with Mike, there's literally a court case: Microsoft versus the United States. You know, that's because Microsoft... Bill Gates is a gangster. <laughs> yeah, Bill savage. Gates is a gangster. <laughs> he's a he's a savage gangster, and that a lot of the game journalists are of a certain age where that's all they can remember. Is getting Microsoft being this evil gangster company, but like they, it's, they're not like that anymore. Satya Nadella's leading the company um, now. Jez, Bill Gates isn't even in. They're Microsoft a gaming anymore. monopoly now, so they they haven't changed at all. Okay. <laughs> oh man. I don't. Yeah, I've seen the monopoly word thrown around regarding the Bethesda thing, and no, that's it's not. There are so yet. many publishers and game studios. Like, Microsoft would have to buy another 100 publishers before we'd even start to touch the realm of a monopoly. The, um, like, in terms of monthly active users, it's, you're looking at, Activision Blizzard has more than Xbox, I'm pretty sure, right now. Like, when you count, like, um, when you, oh god, I'm, I'm, I've got, like, one millimeter of health, I just noticed. <laughs> oh god, living on oh, the Oh, I've got edge. radiation poisoning. I'm dead. And I'm dead. I'm gonna be dead. Oh Very no. dead. And I also don't like people who love Disney and Star Wars and Marvel talking about Xbox being a monopoly. <laughs> I've noticed that as well. I'm dead. Ah! Oh, damn it, Jet! Damn it, Jet! No, I'm dead. <laughs> These dudes um, have like radiation all over the place. This is like uh -huh. bloody that level in Dark Souls, man, with all the with all the poison blight town. But with radioactive waste. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's head back. I wanna. I wanna upgrade. Oh yeah. We haven't upgraded in hours at this point. <laughs> oh, there's enemies. I can't use this. Hold on. Oh, we got fossil 007 again. Thanks for all the super chats, guys. That's dope. Um, yeah, you, you guys rule. Hunt down. 
Hunt Down is on my list. I'm a huge fan of like side scrolling shooters. Love the like 70s kind of like cyber gritty noir vibe to it, but I haven't played it yet. Have you? No, what is it? Hunt Down? I don't know what it is. It's like a 2D spy detective kind of Contra style game, like a side scrolling right. shooter. I, uh, no, I haven't even heard of that one. Have you guys played Greedfall? Um, I've never played Greedfall. It's one of those games that sort of like I wanted to play but never got around to. Kind of like yeah, I played Vampire for a really bit but never finished it. it. Yeah, I, I need to go back and check those games out sometime. And that's one of those kind of like non AAA RPGs that people spoke really highly of. Yeah, for sure. Um, I can really only play one super massive single player open world RPG per year though, so I really have to kind of pick and choose because what I have a bad habit of doing is playing all of them for about five to ten hours and then never and playing them enough. again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Lul. So that's a real problem for me. So I have to really, like, I just started playing The Witcher 3 for the first time ever. Oh, man, for the first time? I'm mm -hmm. kind of jealous. I'll play it on Death March. Or maybe not. Play it on the... Don't play it on normal. Play it on the difficulty above normal, at least. For a little spice? A little, okay. Yeah, I'll, it I'll bump it up. I'm, I'm about five hours in so far. It makes the combat really... I don't know. It makes you feel a bit more vulnerable and stuff. Oh, yeah. We got... Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good point. How many how many likes do we have on here? <laughs> 132. <laughs> I need to put the like and subscribe graphic on the stream, I guess. Yeah, make that. Because I don't like to constantly say, please like and subscribe. But, I mean, it, it makes a difference. Because, I mean, I'll do it. Too. I'm guilty of it, too. Watching someone, having a good time, and then not even, like, thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to subscribe to this guy. This guy's cool. Yeah, I was almost going to... Like, the timing's kind of bad because they did just announce the Xbox Series X enhancements for The Witcher. And even right now, playing on the Xbox One X, the game looks and runs pretty damn well for an open world game. I was pretty impressed with the optimization on the One X. So I can only imagine how ridiculous that game will look on the Series X. It's going to look spicy, baby. It's going to look spicy. Mm, yeah, that chef's good. Yeah, so I finally get why people love The Witcher now. Like, I, um... Boy, you type like a maniac. <laughs> Dude, I type like, um... You just I... type like you're trying to kill that keyboard. You want you want it dead. It hurt you. Dude, I type, so... three, I type 300 words per minute, man. I've had, a, I've had a PC since I was eight years old. And, um, the internet since I was, like, nine. So and I never went outside and I did all my work on my computer. Didn't use a pencil. Like I can't I can't write handwriting for shit. Like my you should see my handwriting man. It looks like I don't know, spiders squashed into a page. Like I'm a true That's that's true pretty PC black metal, nerd, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh Rattleweed. That's interesting. Brickle pick. Click your keyboard to run a furiously typing cat meme. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could see that. Spitfire. Oh yeah, you going through those mods, checking out all the sick upgrades? Yeah, I'm just seeing what kind of stuff I can get. What game should we play next week, guys? I think we should spice it up a bit and play some else. Let's maybe. spice it up. I'm trying to convince Jez that we need to go down the Dark Souls rabbit hole, but um, uh, I'm down for whatever. Too too scared. Too spooky for me. I'm trying to get Jez's gamer cred up a little bit. <laughs> he's never finished a Dark Souls game, so I haven't. I have never finished the Dark Souls game. Vermintide. I did reinstall Vermintide two yesterday when that dropped back on Game Pass. So I'll be down for that little Left 4 yeah, Dead with rats. We could play Vermintide or um, 
Vermintide, Deep Rock Galactic. I also want to play State of Decay on the higher high difficulty. Um, Ooh, what is it? Is it Apocalypse? What is the hardest difficulty called? Nightmare that? mode. Nightmare. I, I, nightmare. The, the problem with Nightmare is that it's so nightmarish that I don't know if we'd ha actually have time to look at chat. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, I mean we'd have to we'd have to make it work. We'd probably die. I don't expect to do well on the hardest difficulty of State of the K2 because that is just brutal. Yeah, I've sure. dipped I've dipped my toes in and it's oh my god, it's gnarly. It is pretty damn gnarly. But yeah, ATL to your point. Yeah, I think THQ is publishing all those games on PC for some reason. Like I can understand the some of the third party stuff, but Halo Wars Two is on the THQ website right now. Halo Wars Two. Oh, Rickle Pick joining the channel. Thanks for that, buddy. Oh, we really snap. appreciate it. Let's get some dabs in the chat, y'all. <laughs> dabs in the chat. Dab dab dab. Uh, Gears Five on the Series X. That's uh, that's number two. The medium's number one. And then Gears 5 is number two in terms of the games I can't wait to boot up on the Series X. I'm looking forward to going through... Um, I'm looking forward to going through uh, Gears Tactics again on a higher difficulty on the Series X too. Ooh. Even though, like, I... Um, I completed it already on PC for the review, but I'm looking forward Xbox to going through Xbox Pope! Again. What's up, dude? Hey, it's Xbox Pope in the house. What's Man, good? Xbox Pope does so much for the community. Like the the amount of hype his custom designs generate is just off the scale. I know. He's I like his so Xbox Pope's like sharing. Xbox Pope is the most famous person on Instagram who doesn't post nudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, bet if he, I mean, it, that's probably for his sub Instagram. His yeah, his alt. His alt Instagram. Yeah. Xbox Pope's only fans, man. Drop in the chat, baby. Oh man, Tommy, you should do um you should do an Xbox custom of the um the anime Xbox Series X. Did you see this new anime waifu that Xbox has for the Japanese yeah, market? Yeah, th their official like Xbox waifu. Yeah. <laughs> their Xbox Mech waifu. Yeah. But they got straight a new out one. of Fantasy Star Online. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I think Mars will be a hit on Instagram. How's the door says? You got to oh, hit up yeah. that in Instagram, baby. Hit, hit, I'll do some shirtless gamer picks, tie a little controller around my neck. Is that what people are? <laughs> oh, what my people God. Are uh, sexy gamer vibes. Now, this gun's pretty sick, man. I got, like... It's like a... a incendiary machine gun or something. Oh, what yeah. Spitfire? Did you shoot yeah, me? Things... <laughs> did I? If I, I did... Know. It was an accident. Blasting those knees. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from the radiation this time. Uh, I still need a Button Moon Series S. Yeah, man, where's my Button Moon Series S? That's, like, perfect. Where's the Phantom Dust custom console, dude? <laughs> oh, man. Miles, Cater to the five people who play Phantom Dust. I want you to write a Phantom Dust editorial for the site, Miles. I will. I will write an editorial that says Phantom Dust is the most important Xbox IP. Uh, do you want to review that that other game you were on about, the side scroller? Hunt Down? Yeah, is it new? It, it's been out for like um, at least two months now. Uh, it's probably too late. Then. Yeah. But Probably like, I can, I should give you more games to review if you've got the time. I got the time. I, my slate's just clear for WCG now, boy. All right, so um, all right, I'll uh, I'll get you a code. How many reviews a week do you think you'll fit in? One or two? I suppose I can it depends do, on the I size. Can, of the I can I can commit to yeah, exactly. Just commit don't to make, one. Don't let me. Don't make me do any open world RPGs. That's all I have. No, 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 no. These would be like these That's would be smaller games for now. Oh, we got Xbox Pope. Somebody screenshot this. He says, "I will do a Phantom Dust fan art just for the news article." Oh okay. wow, that's awesome. Confirmed. It's screenshotted. No back. <laughs> no, no backsies. No backsies. You're gonna lose your gamer cred. This is the, this is the thing. Like, <laughs> Xbox fans always want more. Like, Microsoft just bought like a, a million new studios, and we're still like, here yeah. But what about Killer Instinct? What about Phantom Dust? Yeah. Yeah. What? yeah. You bought Elder Scrolls, but you know what you haven't done? Successfully rebooted Phantom Dust, so 
I'm still buying a PlayStation now. <laughs> we should probably try and stick together, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. That's probably a good idea. Phil, Phil better DM me about a Phantom Dust reboot here soon. That's all I'm saying. I'm very horribly dying, I'm dead. Oh, rip. Yeah, we need to stick together on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little spicy. We're, it's we're going spicy, rogue. Yeah. It's a bit Power spicy. Power and numbers. Ooh, it's muy caliente. Yeah, Xbox Pope, that banjo console. Mm, mm, mm. Xbox doesn't deserve that, though, because they haven't done anything with banjo. But <laughs> You seem mad about this. I'm... A... I'm not even a huge banjo fan, but the amount of people that complain that there hasn't been a new banjo, I I just feel for them. Like, with it the needs IP to be the right big, dev. I think is the issue. Yeah, it's like exactly. Microsoft doesn't like they can't they can't just like get three four three industries to make a new banjo. It has to be a dev that is familiar with making three D. Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer. Tim Schaefer. Yeah, but is it are his three D platformers that good? I mean, Psychonauts, bro. Psychonauts came out like a million years ago. Can you make it? And it's still a mm, masterpiece. <laughs> I don't know, man. Jez, I tried getting into Monster Hunter, but I can't. Dude, if you search Monster Hunter Beginner's Guide Windows Central on Google, you should find... I've written a guide on how to get into Monster Hunter, actually. We can stream Monster Hunter. I haven't touched that in a hot minute, but... Uh, which was the last boss you killed? I haven't played any of Iceborne, but I was like max level with the base game. You haven't played any of Iceborne? No. Oh my god, dude. Well, I know, I keep, I keep waiting about for it to release, sale. They're, they're about to release the last boss. Ooh, now's the time to get back in. So, but the thing is, my gear is so powerful that I, it, wouldn't, it would be so trivial for me to play through all the low level bosses. Like, you wouldn't... I don't oh, know if you'd have okay, any. F okay, gamer. Okay, I, gamer. I, I see. I've got. <laughs> I don't know if you'd have it. My point is, I don't know if you have any fun because I'd just be like two shot in a lot of the monsters. I mean, I've I've put like 150 hours into it, so my my gear's okay. But... Yeah, but Iceborne, Iceborne, your gear is not okay. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You can equip some lower level gear, or we can just steamroll and get me caught up because we got to kill the same monsters 50 times for me to. Make one pair of yeah, pants. Yeah, I guess so. We can, uh, we can, yeah, we can play Monster Hunter. We can get you caught up. It'd be, it'd be easy to chat while killing low-level monsters anyway. Oh, dang. Streamlabs deleted a message from Fugly that just said X going to give it to you. What? Rip. I don't know. It was just X going to give it to you and then, like, a bunch of emojis. Oh, that might be the emoji spam protector. I'll turn that oh. off. Sorry about that, Fugly. X um, gonna give it to ya. Appreciate the Xbox energy, but that yeah, Streamlabs uh, came in yeah, and was like, Streamlabs. Nah, nah, shut it down. Yeah, <laughs> I've, no I've one... try, try posting that again. I've turned off the emote projection. The emote projection. So does that mean Streamlabs is also a PlayStation fan or what? Damn it. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what it means. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, come on, just swinging. I feel like I'm playing through the end scene of signs and I'm just swinging away, baby. Swinging away! Ah, I'm down. I set you on fire, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, you're getting in, blasted. In. <laughs> you're getting... Okay, I'm back. I'm back. We good. Oh god, I got a flamethrower. I didn't know that. That's handy. Or now I have to actually write an article about Phantom Dust. I mean, I yeah, will. please do. Can we have a sub-website? Twitter handle called Phantom Dust Central or no? Uh, can we get that approved? Uh, I can guarantee you. Not. I can guarantee you 50 views at least per article. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like, I, is I know that no? I know that article won't get a huge amount of traffic, but the right people will see it. Put it that way. <laughs> I know that Microsoft will read it, and I'll yeah, be like, exactly. and. Uh, <laughs> Like, That's you that. Care about that Phantom Dust? Yeah, I don't care about clicks. I just want Microsoft to read that we want them <laughs> to bring back Phantom Dust. If, if you, we gotta will some of this stuff into existence. Yeah, we, we have to. We have to. We have to like grease the wheels a bit here, mm -hmm. um, and remind Microsoft that we want these games. No, nay, we demand these games. Ex yes. 
demand. Otherwise, we will just tell people to pre-order the PlayStation 5 instead. Yeah, yeah we're, we're threatening you, Microsoft. We need to That's also right. write an article about Killer Instinct as well. We do, yes. Let's do it. Let's tag team. I'm dying. I'm dying. Killer Instinct, and then I'll, I'll handle... Have you ever played Phantom Dust? I tried to play the recent re-release, the free one, but mm -hmm. I I was like, what the hell is this game? I couldn't figure it out, so I gave up. It's pretty much Magic the Gathering meets Dragon Ball Z, which <laughs> as, a, as a 90s kid, that is like the ultimate gaming fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had a few friends that I basically forced into playing it, and I made them spend like 10 hours learning how the game works. But um, the learning curve's a little steep. The remaster was, it was, it was cool that they did it, and I'm glad people got to experience it. But at the same time, I don't really know who played that and was like, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, give me more of this, because it's, <laughs> it's old. It's an original Xbox game, one of the the very first Xbox Live games. Hmm. And it, feel, it feels like it in terms of controls, but... That being said, I put 75 hours into that remaster, so... Nice. Do people still play it? Yeah, there's a, there's a community of, like... Tw <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, like 20 people who play it every day. That is... that is really funny. I had you should, a couple you should of, interview like, some of those people for the article. Yeah, because I, I, I have a dude that I've played with who like hosts a bunch of tournaments and stuff and like is really they have like a, what is it phantom dusted like they have this fan page that's got kind of a following oh but this dude has God. five thousand hours in this re remaster wow that's more than i've got in that's more than i've got in uh most of the world for god's sake yeah, yeah def it's... definitely interview him he he, he okay his story, him. his story deserves to be told, or at because least they're, like, a little bit. The people who get Phantom Dust and like Phantom Dust love Phantom Dust. There's still to this day no game that's like it. It's such a cool, unique experience, but it's dated. Like it's hard for me to show people this cool old game and have them ignore all the problems with it because of the fact that it's an OG Xbox game. Yeah, I get you. Oh well. But, you know, who knows? If we get enough eyeballs on it, maybe they'll do a new one. They better. Or I'm done with Xbox. <laughs> Is this game hard, Duke? Togo says. It, it kind of reminds me of playing Gears of War on maximum difficulty, or at least the second above normal difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, it's not what I'd describe as, oh my god, I'm going to cry difficulty but it's it is up there it's pretty damn tough it's it's got a good scaling system that keeps it from getting too brutal so basically the enemy power level is tied to your gear so you can essentially play through the entire game without upgrading your gear but all the enemies will be really weak yeah for sure anyway um i think we're gonna wind down here soon because I am bloody hungry. So, um... Oh, a little hungry boy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Drop, um, uh, drop a couple of questions in the chat, and then uh, we'll uh, wind down and get out of here and uh, go and have something to eat, because it is 7 p.m. here, and I am yes. one hungry boy. Slap some questions in. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, all that good stuff, and then huge shout-out shout out to all the people hanging out on a Saturday. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's, thanks it's, to... It's been uh, great so far. Thanks to Hazardor and Blondie for with the mod support, and thanks to Modern everyone who joined the con palaces. Blech, blech. Yeah, thanks to everyone who super chatted and joined the channel as well. That really, really, really helps us, and uh, really, really appreciate that. And um, you know, we will return next week for some more chill, and uh, maybe we play a different game. Maybe we'll drop. Yeah, we'll uh, ask for suggestions maybe on what game to play. But I think it might be either State of Decay on a high difficulty, or um, Bonsunter Hunter helping Miles get to the last boss because the last, the last, last, last DLC boss for Monster Hunter is coming out very soon. Ooh, um, ooh. Yeah, maybe it's uh, time for me to get back, jump back in the saddle. Yeah, uh, so install that bad boy, Miles. Uh, when will we see some Series X gameplay? You will see some Series X gameplay pretty soon, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Safe to say, very, very soon. Yeah, very soon. So, you know, keep an eye out. 
Um, yeah, as, as you guys have seen on Twitter, a lot of people have Series X's now. Um, yeah. There's embargoes to what they can talk about that are pretty strict and staggered. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for some Series X gameplay very, very soon. Yeah. And uh, please play games that are filmic and on Game Pass. Okay. Well. Filmic. I mean, Remnant's filmic. We, we hitting a 30 FPS max over here, so yeah, we are. We keep we keeping it filmic. Oh, and the um, my capture card didn't break the whole stream, so I'm pretty yeah, happy I'm, about that. I'm proud. I'm gonna give a little round of applause. <laughs> I um, I just it, it seems to work if I restrict it to 1080p. If, yeah, I, if I go above 1080p, it, for, it can't it, like overload. Can't or handle it. Can't Who do you guys think powered. had a bigger impact on their brand between Jack Trenton, PlayStation, and Phil Spencer, Xbox? They each turned their brands around significantly. Love to know what you guys think. Personally, I would say Phil, because Phil Phil had to convince the CEO of Microsoft that Xbox was even worth it, whereas Jack Tretton... Obviously, Jack Tretton had Sony's backing because PlayStation is the biggest part of Sony. Sony mm -hmm. basically is PlayStation these days. Um, so I think Phil had a much bigger hill to climb, personally. And um, that's not just me saying that as someone who's an Xbox fan, but it's just, if you just look at how much Microsoft doesn't need to be in gaming, really, Microsoft could go off and be like IBM. They could be like, you know what, screw all this consumer stuff, we're just going to be an office and Azure company, focus on like providing services to other companies. They could easily do that, and it wouldn't hurt their bottom and line. Still, yeah, still make yeah. insane amounts of money. Unfathomable, unfathomable amounts yeah. of money. So like they had to, Phil had to convince Satya that gaming was even worth worth the effort of being in, and uh, you know, you can't really discount the fact that he was able to do that. So, yeah, um, that's that's huge, and the fact that he is now on the board at Microsoft is yeah. a huge testament to where Xbox was pre Phil Spencer and where they are now. Xbox Definitely. went from like kind of sub side division to a, a core key component of Microsoft's business moving forward. And that, that's huge. Plus, Phil, Phil is just a genuinely good dude. Like, every time, like, you listen to that guy talk, you can, you can tell that he is invested in not only Microsoft as a business, but gaming as a whole, which is in a world full of very corporate people and businessmen and salespeople. It's, it's nice to see somebody who at least comes across as genuine. I've never met Phil personally, so I can't. It could just be for sales, but he, no, he reads as not. a genuine dude. Yeah. I, I know Phil pretty well, I would say, at this point. And um, he's, the way he presents himself in the media is just how he is. And I think that's, like, that's really unique in this industry, like, across the whole board. When you, like, see the other CEOs speak in the way they do, it's just, they can just tell that there's sort of this mentality of corporatism. But it's not it's, like that mm -hmm. with Phil. Phil yeah. genuinely wants to bring do a good job for gamers. Not just but not even just on Xbox, but like on every platform, you know. It's exactly. Like, He's <clears> invested <throat> in gaming as a whole, not just Xbox as a as a company. Yeah. Uh Jez, if um, you could have any choice of previous Xbox exec to return, who would you and why? My choice would be Peter Moore. Man, Peter Moore was a cool dude. I wasn't really familiar with... I wasn't really following Xbox as a platform that much back then. So I wasn't really... I never really even watched E3 until like 2013. I was like very much like... I played a lot of games, but I I wasn't really aware of the business and all that sort of wider stuff. Um, but like, I do think losing Albert Pinello was, was a bit of a shame. Because that dude was super passionate as well and really smart on the hardware side. And losing him to uh, Amazon kind of sucks. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what time next week? So right now our schedule is Saturdays at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And then you can kind of convert it from there. But Yeah, it's kind of 4 p.m. British Time as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll we'll have like a proper stream schedule up on on the page and uh, yeah we, we'll we have, have some have new graphics and stuff too yeah. so I can whip up a graphic that says like a solid date and time or a solid day and time yeah I should say we'll, we'll also put like a, we'll always put a premiere up as well before we go live so mm -hmm. so we schedule it and again yeah. like if you haven't subscribed 
that's a good way to know when we're streaming. But every Saturday is the plan as of now. Um, and then, yeah, I posted this on Twitter as well, but if there's any folks in the industry that you want to see on the show or think would be fun, um, tag us. Let us know who you want to see on here. We're trying to get, trying to have guests be more of a regular part of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'll, I'll speak to some people too. But yeah, um, we're going to end the stream there. Thanks again to Blondie and Hazardor for modding for us. And uh, feel free to post your socials in the chat, Blondie and Hazardor, so people follow you as well. Oh, yeah, exactly. And, they're, um, they're both awesome people in the community. And, yeah, we thank you guys for hanging out with us on a blessed Saturday. Blessed Saturday. And then um, we'll be back next week. Take care, everybody. And uh, sorry, Brad. We'll be back next week, buddy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Take care, guys.